Until they release more weapons, I have every bullet firing weapon within Cold War DM Ultra. Today, we're going to be talking about the second battle pass weapon in season two, which is the LC-10. I'm going to talk about everything attachment wise, performance wise, some of the camo challenges that you'll struggle with, some of the easier ones, and some overall tips and tricks for the LC-10. I want to talk about my attachments pretty quick. I run the same attachments both in Cold War and Warzone, and those are the Micro Flex Reflex Sight, the Suppressor, Field Agent Grip, Salvo 52 Round Fast Mag, and the Serpent Wrap. The only time that I will switch any attachment is by using the Axial 3x Sight in Cold War to do long shots. Within Cold War, the LC-10 performs very similarly to the Black Ops 2's Peacekeeper. It's a very accurate, fast firing SMG. The damage isn't the strongest, but with the fire rate and accuracy, you're not really going to care about having low damage. Now, it's not low like the Bullfrog damage, but it's also not high like the Milano damage. Overall, it's a really reliable submachine gun. I feel like it outclasses the MP5 and the AK-74U. The only SMG you're going to lose to is to the Milano at longer ranges. And if you're at super close ranges, the MAC-10 and every other gunfight against everything else is going to be down to how well of a player you are versus how well the enemy team is playing, position, strategy, accuracy just kind of all the human error issues that you would have with the LC-10. Other than that, it's an incredible gun. Now, the Farah 83 was a little bit of a letdown, but the LC-10 absolutely slaps. Now, in Warzone, it's accurate and it's fast shooting, but it doesn't do a lot of damage, especially if an enemy is fully plated up. Also, the damage range drop off is very short so you can be shooting at an enemy in the distance and they're gonna have a huge advantage if they have an aug m16 assault rifle ffar any meta weapon in the game i don't think the lc10 will be meta like the mac 10 was but it is very reliable it is i would say one of the top three smgs in the game i would go MAC-10, then the MP5 on either game, Cold War or Modern Warfare, and then followed by the LC-10, and then everything else is kind of mid-tier or lower tier. But the Warzone performance isn't bad. If you do use it, use it wisely. Don't push like it is a MAC-10 because you will not get the same results. And don't push like it's an FFAR. It's kind of in between where it has the accuracy of the FFAR, the damage per bullet that the MAC-10 has, but its own unique fire rate. So if you're trying to build an overpowered class, I would stay away from the LC-10 and stick to the MAC-10 shotguns FFAR. But that doesn't mean that it's bad in Warzone. Going into some of the more difficult camo challenges, first up is going to be point blanks. I found point blanks were a little bit more of a struggle with the LC-10 than the rest of the SMGs, just because the fast fire rate and low damage per bullet at close ranges. Now it is very accurate, but a lot of the times that I'm getting point blanks, it's going to be hip fire kills. The best game modes, Nuketown 24-7, the face-off 3v3 playlist, or combined arms assault on armada and sneak up behind the enemy if you know where they're spawning and you can get tons of point blanks that way it took me 45 minutes of game time focusing on just point blanks to complete them if i was doing point blanks just in the background as i worked on other camo challenges it would be a lot longer and when i was not focusing on point blanks i only had five out of 75 while going into it so make sure you're pushing enemies spawns and objectives as much as possible in those three recommended game modes for long shots as i said throw in that axial arms three time scope you don't need any barrel that will increase your bullet velocity or damage or damage range this gun is accurate enough where it might take two bullets to kill an enemy at long range but because with the axial arms three time scope and then just the recoil control on the gun itself it makes it extremely easy to get long shots and i did not have issues whatsoever i just went into hardcore domination kept my distance i'll have a video link down below of all the best long shot locations on every map in the game so you guys can just hang out around those locations get long shots and complete that challenge pretty much right away the basic camel challenges is everything else. Headshots and normal eliminations you'll complete just through normal gun use. Bloodthirsties, 
Nuketown 24-7, or if you're just holding a power position in any of your favorite game modes, you'll be getting Bloodthirsties done pretty fast. One thing I didn't know was that if you throw down the field mic on a face-off map, your field mic's covering 60% of the playable area. So if anyone's in that 60% of the playable area and you kill them, that's going to be one kill while an enemy is detected. So if you want a really fast way to do that, go into face-off, get a domination game in hardcore or core, and every time you see that ping go off on your minimap or you hear the ping for hardcore they're in your field mic radius and you can get the easy kill also nuke tone 24 7 i had an incredible game where i had a uav and a harp within the first 45 seconds and when i called in my score streaks to see the enemies on the minimap i got 20 out of the 75 in that one little short stint of those detected kills so i didn't have an issue whatsoever the detective kills are based off of how you're playing yourself if you're not playing very well and dying quite frequently it's going to be hard to get those streaks up in the air to help you as well as when you do call in those streaks you will die pretty fast so just be aware of that the last basic category is psychedelic and that is going to be your double kills or two kills rapidly or more it's super easy on nuketown 24 7 you'll be getting double kills pretty much every time you kill two enemies on the map because it's very rare you'll kill one enemy have enough time to reload regroup kill another enemy where it won't count for a double kill but just because the pace of nuketown double kills are extremely easy same with face off and if you have any preferred objective game mode where you're super aggressive on the objectives overall camo challenges pretty easy on the lc10 just be aware of those point blanks and long shots those are the ones that will take you the longest to complete other than that it is a stellar gun i would say it's definitely top tier within warzone itself i would say the only smg that is better than the lc10 is the mac 10 and that is only at super close range everything else the lc10 will win all those gunfights and the lc10 will even outclass some assault rifles at some ranges if you have the jump on enemies it's just that good which is why i consider it like half smg half assault rifle which is where i made that peacekeeper from black ops 2 comparison earlier anyway that's the lc10 dm ultra i hope you guys did enjoy and i hope this does help you guys grind this gun whenever you go to get gold on it leave a like if you did enjoy dislike if you didn't there's no hard feelings comment down below what videos you guys want to see me do in the future and uh if there is one i'll see you in the next one peace